Hello everybody and welcome to Joe's Aquarium. In today's video, I will be reviewing the Acreon Filter Quiet Flow. This filter is for 20 gallon tanks or up to 20 gallon aquariums. In today's video, I will be doing it on this 10 gallon aquarium up down there. Uh, I will also be showing you in today's video how to immediately cycle a filter. So let's get straight into it with the review on the Acreon Quiet Flow. This is the Acreon Quiet Flow 10. Um, every time I've used this filter, it has done glorious jobs on my aquariums. Let me just show you an example of it right here. This is an Acreon um, Quiet Flow 20 or 30. I'm not too sure, but it's. I'm pretty sure it's a 30. And it does glorious job on cycling this tank. And this one is a little bit of an older version of the Acreon Quiet Flow 10. And you could just see how nice this tank's water is. It's really, really good job at cleaning the tanks. And uh, easy filter media change and all this different stuff. Um, even leave some room if you want to customize it a little bit more. But let's get straight into the unboxing of the Acreon Quiet Flow. Acreon Quiet Flow 20 gallon aquarium. We're gonna unbox this real quick. You can see all this stuff on the side here has how you would want to set the filter up here. And on the back, it shows you everything you need to know about it. You just can read through that, but I don't currently need to because I need, or I already have read this and have used this filter many a times. If you just want to see that, make sure to pause the video when you just want to see that. But anyways, let's show you the actual filter, which is this. It's pretty good. It's small, nice and compact. Uh, but anyways, you open the seal, which is pretty easy. Just put your finger and pop it right open and you'll see this clean look right in here also comes with this manual right here uh that you could read through if you really want but i will not be reading this in today's video because i will teach you how to do it physically here and not read you that you also get these cool little two percent or $2 off of any of these products here, like I got food and some medicine here. But anyways, get back to the filter here. Uh, you can see you have this lid here. You pop it on if you want the lid to be on. It's pretty obvious. Uh, and then inside of it, you have this little red thing here. This I'm going to show you with this right here. There's going to be a hole on the top of your filter and this can go right in that. And what this thing will do is when this is blinking red, it should mean that you have to do a filter change and your filter is too dirty to continue cleaning. But that's really helpful for knowing if you're a beginner one to do filter changes and stuff like that. But we also have in here this thing, which is the front filter cartridge you can see it goes right on to there slide it right up using this little thing right there that's provided and you see all of these nice little filter spots so it can catch any access material and you also can just slide this thing right out which water will flow right through that easy to clean small easy to put back in a little filter media just to make it so nothing else gets out this here also comes with it this is just you put right at the bottom of this part of the filter inside the tank so it will suck more at the bottom of the tank and not catch any filth or fish in the blade um which i think is very useful you definitely need to do this if you are keeping fish in the tank even for plants uh but Next up, you have this cool little thing here. You have the filter media carriage here, which holds 
your biometric media, uh, which is in this bag, huge bag of carbon, and pretty much all you will need uh, to clean your aquariums inside of this bag. It will need to be changed every two months, I would suggest, around-ish. It depends how dirty your tank is and how many fish you have in your tank. Like for my grow-out cichlid tank that this will be going in, I only have two fish in. So in all honesty, I don't need to replace it every two months, every about maybe five to six months for me. But for you guys, it depends how many fish you have in your tank. And also, you should be exploring how dirty your filter gets in the first sort of month leave filter change or second month. Every two months, do a filter change and see how dirty this filter is. If it is excessively dirty, that means you either got to do it every month, which is actually what I suggest. I don't know why I said two months there, but it re relatively needs to be replaced every two months. Um but you have to change this filter every month and see how dirty it gets. And if it is very dirty, that could mean uh, you should dis or lowen the amount of fish you have in that tank. So let's get to the easy part, which is cleaning these things. Um, if you guys did not know, uh, make sure to clean all of the media and um, plastic parts so you really don't get any plastics in it the tank and it's generally just a nice thing sorry for the echo by the way there's going to be a little bit of echo in here but i can't really do much to fix that we're going to keep these right there you got these two things and a nice sink right here all you have to do is rinse them down so they'll a little bit wet this could be tap water or anything like that right there Nice and wet, that's good. And then same with this one, just dry it in there, it'll wash it in. And you'll see it actually turns a little bit darker. Um, and once that thing is completely dark, you can see right here, all the media in there. That is completely done. And that's all you will need to do for that. Just enough and make sure well, I'll tell you that later, actually. Uh, but there you go. All you need to do is wash it in the sink. And then um, these parts, you really don't need to. Uh, there's already going to be plastic going in the tank, no matter what you do. So these, you just got to keep in position, I guess. So let me put these back over here. And then we have our nice little filter here. Um, we got the quiet fro filter here. You take this filter media holder you put it right in between these two points there and then easy boom right there take this it says front on it i show you the front here real quick right here it says front on that side you want this side to be facing outwards so it gets more media in and then this piece like i showed you earlier just slide right into here, easy as so. Um, and then we're going to put this straight into this little slot here. Uh, all you need to do is pretty much slide it right in. And you can even see there's a curve there, which helps a lot when doing this. But next is the top, which I showed you that hole right here for this little mechanical piece here that tells you when you need to do a filter change, we're going to be putting that right on top. You can also see there's actually perfect little spaces here that hold it in for you. Really easy, just pop it right on top there. Right there, like that, perfect. Nice little filter. And then you take this little piece here open the bag you can also read the instructions and it tells you not to rip out this paper do not rip that out that is not to stop the um the process that's actually to help it connect the paper there and um it pretty much makes it light up you take these little two things right here you see those little metal things there is also going to be two little metal things in there which you could see right there and um, 
want the lid to be on there. And then you pretty much, if I lean it here and show you, this is the side. We're going to be putting it right on top of that. And you should immediately see results of it turning on right there. It does require some little bit of pushing to get it in secure, but once it's in, it should be all good. Like that, right there. You see, it's right on top in that little hole. It is now connected to the piece, fully down and in right there. And now you're pretty much ready to do the, put it into your tank. All you need to do is make sure this is screwed on, push it in and screw it, make sure it can't come out easily. And then just take this nice little wire here, do that and then undo the tie here. And then once the tie is undone, you just hang it on the back of your fill or your tank, I meant to say, and um, it will go and be in or be on. I'll tell you that part in a second, I'm sorry. It is hot in this area. I'm trying to order a fan for this area, but it has not come in and it is scolding down here. So um, I gotta actually fix that because it did fall out there. But there you go. Nice fully set up filter. If you are uh, having no already pre-cycled filter media, uh, I would suggest having no fish in the tank and cycle this filter with maybe API quick start or anything like that. But since I already have a cycled tank and cycle filter media, which I will be showing you in a minute or right now, actually, um, I can immediately put this into the fish or fish in this tank and have fish already in it. So let's show you this pre-cycled filter media right here. Uh, this I recommend actually having in any of your aquariums uh, in pretty much every single filter you have. I rem recommend having one of these tanks, having a pre-cycled filter media or an extra, pretty much a cycle, any extra filter that you might come across in the future, just like this. And the in to immediately cycle this filter, all you need to do is go behind that yellow or white thing right here and just slide it right back in there. And you should see it goes perfectly in there. And I would suggest pushing it into a corner away from the the pump here or the, um, I guess pump, put it all the way in this corner so it gives enough flow to still go through it. Make sure all the stuff is on, put the lid back on. And now, once this filter is set up, it is immediately cycled in about maybe 10 minutes. Let's show you that right now. I'll walk you over to this right now with the Acreon Quiet Flow. And let's go right over to the tank and put the lid back on because unfortunately the lid or technically it's not really supposed to do that. The lid going like this is very difficult for the lid to not fall off. Next, we're gonna put this tank on to this cichlid tank. And don't worry guys, this bubbler will be moved. You can see right there, put it right onto this tank there. Make sure the wire is not there. And you immediately see it's just gonna hang on to the back of the tank. Exactly how it is supposed to be doing. You can also see right there is the uh, little piece there that goes down to the bottom and that will suck up any of the stuff that comes near it. And there you go. There's a nice little Acreon filter there. And then you take this nice little plug here and plug it into any outlet you have which is pretty obvious and as long as the outlet is not a extension cord you should be fine but also before you plug in the any filter uh you should put water inside of that filter so um so the the thing doesn't burn out the 
pump does not burn out. Let me just get a cup right here. You don't really do any sort of thing with this, but I recommend a small cup or bucket that could carry a little bit of water, just like this. Take a water from the tank by just scooping some up. You can see right there that is more than enough. Take this right out and open the lid of the quiet troll. Flow and then just pour it in until it starts to flow out. See right there, pouring that in and you're good. All right, everybody, I'm sorry. Uh, the camera some reason stopped, for some reason stopped recording and um, I already did the filter. But anyways, I'll talk what I did through to use right now. What you wanna do is take a bucket or cup of any size um, and pretty much put water in to the filter by pouring it straight in um, until it's about halfway to the top of that blue, I would recommend. That blue line on the um, little or front part of the filter, that piece. Um, for some reason, these lights here, I do not like them. But anyways, right there, you want the water at least to the top of that. And you should see, once you plug it in, the water doing that. Once you see that, that is because my tank is a little full there, but you can still see perfect water flow. It is now sucking up all of the stuff in the tank. You can actually see it working there, right there. And coming straight through there and in, is instantly cycled because of the um, pre-cycled media in the filter. But if you guys did like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next Joe's Aquarium video. See you then. Bye-bye, everyone.